Sports Weather Forecast with meteorologist Bill Alexander. Hey, good evening, folks. It did turn out to be a mostly cloudy, warm, breezy, and humid day today, but no rain to show for it. And this evening, you're starting to see the clouds encroach on the area. Again, thick and lower fog developing from the coastline inland. But look at your highs today. Several places well into the 80s. In fact, even along the immediate coastline, 80 degrees. In fact, Rockport hit 83 degrees today. 84 here in Corpus. Back well into the 90s as you go to the south and southwest. 96 at Hebronville today. Woo. Well, no rain, of course. Um, I hate to say of course, but none. Nearly an inch below normal for the month. Three and a third inches below normal for the year. But look out west. Huge blossoming thunderstorms over portions of southwest Texas from the Big Bend into the southern Permian Basin, Edwards Plateau. And you can see that huge area simply explode there as an upper level disturbance moves across a frontal zone. Uh, lots of low level convergence there. All the ingredients for some strong storms and still have a severe thunderstorm watch for many of these counties until 11 p.m. Back here, that's well to the west and it's going to stay that way at least for tonight. Now, I'm not looking for any severe weather here for the next several days, so keep that one in mind, but we are looking for some rain chances. Look at this, 39 degrees in Amarillo. It's been cold all day long across the northern high plains, all the way down in the south plains of Lubbock, and Abilene sitting at 49 degrees. Yeah, you'd think there's a front there. Well, there certainly is. Uh, it's not here, though, and it's not going to be here. Uh, temperatures are in the lower 70s in most locations here. Even the water temperature sitting at 73 degrees there. But uh, that's because the dew points are so high. Upper 60s to lower 70s. There's just a lot of moisture in the lower layers of the atmosphere. So now you're seeing the visibility really crater. Port Aransas down less than a mile and it will get worse uh, as the evening progresses and that will move on inland. That's why the dense fog advisory for the coastal waters and you may indeed see one for the coastal bend as well. That's where that front is along to the north there. Much cooler air, but it's going to stay to our north and then gradually dissipate. Another front moves into place just enough to bring a little lift in the atmosphere in association with these passing upper level disturbances. You're going to see periods of light rain showers Monday and Tuesday, but nothing of great consequence. You have to wait for the weekend for a more appreciable chance of rain as another cold front comes in and gets lift from upper level instability. And then the first of next week, it gets a little bit more rowdy uh, with uh, a more spring-like uh, thunderstorm event, probably Monday into Tuesday, looking like pretty good amounts of rainfall coming out of that as well. That'll be early next week. But tonight, warm and humid and uh, light southeasterly, east southeasterly winds, just enough to bring that thick fog into place, even a little drizzle in the early morning hours. But after that, well, we're going to be watching that dense fog advisory and isolated showers the next couple of days, scattered thunderstorms Friday through Sunday. We'll be back with more news and sports after the break.